Shalom. I'd like to say our praise to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweshai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, the ones the pass of great millstone, peace and blessing to the elect. This is off of the BBC News. Iran declares five days of mourning for president. Right, and this was the president that was, uh, he was the prime minister or, prime, or the president of Iran. And uh, he got, uh, he was on his flight, all right, and uh, basically uh, he was assassinated, or um, like that's what I believe, right? Because you know, um, you know the 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 state of Israel, right? They're at war um, against Iran, right? It says, uh, Doctor, sorry. Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Kashi has announced five days of mourning following the death of the country's president, Arabi Yashi. Rashi was killed in a helicopter crash in the mountains area of north northwestern Iran, along with the former minister of Hashi Ali. Abdullah, the state media, the state media confirmed they were killed after helicopters they were they were traveling in came down on Sunday. All right, so this was yesterday, right? So this is uh less than twenty four hours, man, that it's been confirmed, right? And um. This whole thing is going to lead off to World War Three, man. So we're approaching these times. So now, um, like, that's why, because um, um, like one of the generals was killed um, a couple months ago. And then uh, I think 2017, 2018, one of the generals was killed, right, um, by a drone. All right, so, uh, <laughs> you know. This is going to lead to World War Three eventually. That's why I'm going to get you this scripture. All right? Um, so the leash of the flock. Leash of the flock. The leash of the flock shall draw them out. All right? And we're going to... I'm going to get it. Sorry. Yeah, Jeremiah 49 and 20. I can get it. Highlight this up here. Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that have taken against Edom. Right? We know that Esau... Or the nation of Edom are, uh, you know, these people that are in power, right? The NATO, right? the Treaty of NATO, right? That uh, shows you that these people, they are the Edomites who's back in their power, right? And um, th th and like that's why that whole Treaty of Rome, I believe, nineteen forty eight. Or are the probably, I think it's nineteen fifties with that whole tree there Rome. So it shows you that we're in Rome all over again and that these are the uh these Edomites, they know who they are. There's an actual book known as uh Who is Esau Edom? Right? Um some brothers have that book, but uh, it's a good PDF that like you could download Who is Esau Edom? And Esau knows he he knows his heritage, and his co and his purpose. Take that he have proposed against inhabitants of Timon. So the Timon are you are you German are you Germans, right? Um, they're very wise, right? And basically, um, after World War Two, um, there was a thing known as Pro Operation Paperclip, and they came to America. Some of them went to Russia, all right, and um, 
and they're very knowledgeable and they they have great knowledge of uh of the the atomic bomb but now the nuclear bomb all right so they're uh very knowledgeable of these things surely the least of the flock shall draw them out who's the least of the flock all right um Esau, Adam, or Slaka, um, Amalek, all right, Slaka, sleep, uh, like a slip of the tongue, Amalek, all right, that um, the Amalekites is going to be drawn out, right, because they were like pretty much um, like the bastard of, um, of the dukes, all right, and basically these... Um, these like these jays right like they run the world they have all the power they run all the banks right and, and pretty much they want to um take iran right and they want to completely uh take iran and and um you know like they want to destroy and they want to take right and that's esau's characteristic man but um because you have America, right? That um, basically America is going to back them, right? And then you have the state of Israel. Right? You have a uh, president, like you have the prime minister, um, Netanyahu, that, uh, that wants this war, right? And um, th this war has been, and like, like, like basically... Like, this whole thing's been brewing for, you know, over, like, a couple of decades, man. And, uh, basically, uh, it's going to lead out to a third world war. There, you know, and that's what's going to happen, man. It's going to be, uh, chaos. All right, so now is the time to watch as well as pray. All right, um, that's pretty much it. All right. There's Ezekiel 38, right? Because uh, you have Russia. Russia has a lot of interest in um, in Iran, right? There are, there are partners, right? And um, Russia and Iran, China, right? It's uh, Asia, right? But they basically call Europe uh, because prior like europe is is just one big continent one big landmass right but um that's what they would call it, like eurasia right western asia basically right but um let me get uh, ezekiel 38 all right so ezekiel 38 verse 1 Ezekiel 38, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, right? The land of Gog. So that's that land mass, right? It was, um, you know, is known as uh, now Russia, right? Or uh, Yugoslavia, the that Soviet Union, right? The chief prince of Meshek and Tubal against the, against him saying thus hath the lord power behold i am against thee o gog the chief prince of meshek and tubal and i will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws so basically they're going back into that into their their because basically um this the soviet union you know they were a very great power right during the whole um the whole cold war with um with the president um what's his name he was assassinated um john f kennedy right and that was the whole uh cold war where um russia and stuff they made like a, 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 a um like russia went like to cuba right they made like a, a, a ally right allegiance with uh, russia and basically that whole um that cold war could have kicked off back then but now we're not in a cold war we're, we're approaching a hot war 
right where where, where it's going to be nuclear destruction right and basically um everything's already or everything's already orchestrated everything's already organized because the prophecy is going to be fulfilled right um malachi 4 1 the the um it says the the the, the um it says the day that shall come shall burn them as an oven, right? And and that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be nuclear destruction, man. And I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all that hor ar army horses, horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Every even a great company with buckler and shields, all of them with. All of them handling swords, so they're gonna have, so they're gonna be uh, orchestrated, man. They're gonna have their their uh, missiles, right? Um, you know their tanks, you know their um, like their submarines, right? They have all kind of different technology, man, that they're gonna use, and um, like that's right now. It's not a time to get comfortable, right? Right. everything is very is very um like lacks a day still cold and stuff but you know there's gonna be a war a, a a a nuclear war man persia ethiopia and libya with them and all of them right so persia is iran ethiopia or it ethiopia is involved in a lot of um you know like um like nuclear destruction too like they're basically involved too those ethiopians right they have the technology libya right even though uh, even though like Gaddafi, he, he got destroyed but basically um like russia is gonna is gonna come up there man right and set up shop and all of them with shields and helmets garmer and all of them the house of um like Togara and northern court and the northern quarters all right so it's gonna be a uh world war and this is what the lord wants all right and uh we're we are approaching these times so um you gotta watch as well as pray you know we're approaching these times man so with that let's see our prison to our praise due to how about shame or share about shame and cock with that the bonds the parts of great millstone peace and blessings to the lecture